This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News. The Associated Press reports from San Antonio. A Texas woman who allegedly shot her two children and then killed herself during a standoff in a state welfare office had been denied food stamps. Texas Health and Human Services spokeswoman Stephanie Goodman said Tuesday the woman first applied for assistance in July. Goodman said the mother was denied because she didn't submit enough information. Police say the woman shot her 10-year-old son and 12-year-old daughter at the end of an hours-long standoff Monday at a Texas Department of Health and Human Services office in Laredo. The children remain hospitalized in critical condition. Goodman said the mother called the office in mid-November to check on her case, which was apparently the last time she contacted a caseworker before Monday's shooting. The Associated Press reports from El Paso, Texas. Icy roads have led to more than 250 traffic accidents in El Paso since Monday. Schools, universities, and government offices in West Texas delayed their schedule Tuesday due to freezing weather. Temperatures in Amarillo fell to the single digits. Dallas, the Texas Department of Transportation, is buying about 30 snowplows for the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Dallas usually gets only about an inch of snow in the winter, but three times that much fell in a week prior to the Super Bowl last February, and it paralyzed the region. Austin, officials are launching a new campaign to raise money for dozens of Texas parks and historic sites. They say the park's budget is facing a deficit of nearly $5 million following a drop in the number of visitors because of drought and wildfires. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key for KDD Texas News.